Hi there guys and welcome to another Train Sim 2020 video. Today we are covering something that I was super duper excited about. Um, but there's been bits and pieces that I've not been massively excited about. But we'll get into those. But on the whole, I'm buzzing for this. I watched a couple of little bits of Tom's streams when he previewed some of this. But I haven't watched the full run he did the last time or anything like that. Um, it is, of course, the Metropolitan Line, as you will have seen. It's not a line I'm massively familiar with. I've done bits of it in the past, but the Underground's the Underground to me a lot of the time. But it is what it is, and I'm ready to give it a good little drive. Uh, what should we cover? What should we cover first? I think we just drive first, and we have a look at it first. That's that's the main bit. I've got some points I want to get to on it, as I'm sure you've all been waiting for. Um, I will make this clear at the start. I am not driving the S7 Plus 1. Um, I will come to that reason further down the video as well. We're in the S8. So let's get going. Um, oh, quick caveat. I'm not brilliant with the S8 <laughs> by any chance. So by any stretch of the imagination. So I will uh, probably mess this up once or twice. So if you've come in to watch this from a driving the Metline point of view or a professional driving point of view, stop now. This is more looking at the route. This is looking at... Uh, assets how they've been placed what's been down what's looking good what's not looking so good how does things drive what's the frame rates like that sort of thing is what we'll be looking at in this not my driving ability uh, which is rubbish anyway uh right okay let's get going for the third time uh good morning driver london is just waking up as you get underway you are to work the 0614 train the 435 to Allgate. you'll call at all stations to harrow on the hill and then fast to finchley road then all stations onwards please prepare your train and allow passengers to board okay right this thing shift w gets that key in doesn't it and then is it that into forward I've got the thing sitting there. Uh, doors, T and U. And we are, she's number 435, it said, didn't it? Um, no idea on the radio number. Does it tell me in here? No. Oh, that's for that one, should be 435. 35. Confirm. And we are Uxbridge to Aldgate Semi. Uh, from Aldgate, so from Aldgate. Oh, you can be quiet. So it is. Oh! It's going into rollback protection. Shouldn't have done that. Because I've got the joystick on. Is it now not going to let us? It's going to make me move away and restricted now, isn't it? Yes. Tell you what we'll do. Do a quick restart. I didn't have the, I had the joystick in neutral when I should have had it in brake. That was a bit silly of me. Right, okay, shift W. I've got the manuals up here, so I will read through them as well while I'm doing it. Um, let me just make sure I'm doing this exactly right. Right, we can do this bit. Or is it Tripcock I've got to be in? I think it's Tripcock I've got to be in. Let's just try that. T and U. Uh, duty number... I'll just put 435 in again, even though it's not 435. I've worked that out now. Da, 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 da. 435, confirm... Aldgate. T 
two three one. Two one three. Confirm. No idea. Right. Let's pause while we have a look so we don't run too out of time. I, I, <laughs> I saw these and I I was um I, I'm not convinced on the on the spikes, I will add. Uh, nice little touch, though. Don't mind. rest of it's looking very nice, though. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's stunning. That is absolutely stunning. Get in there. That is really, really pretty. Well done, guys. That is a very, very, very good looking model. Like, beautifully good model. Oh, that's giving me a bit of hope. That's definitely giving me a bit of hope for this. Brilliant. Okay. Right. Everyone, I've got brake on, so we should be all right. Now, should I be in... Wait for the marker to go down. Right, that looks like we're good. forward. I don't know why. No, the door's closed. Now they are. Right, so maybe I should be in Tripcock. Yeah, there we go. We got moving. Let me just send this text back quickly. Since I don't have to pick up the kids... limit coming out of Uxbridge there. Again, it's, it's, it's looking very nice. It's just those few little bits that are a bit of a letdown, like we know is the track. But it's pretty. There is, I think, already a um, AP track batch for this. 
One thing I am also noticing is I'm getting quite a lot of, and this was something I did actually notice on stream, is some pretty big lag spikes. But again, as it's as detailed as it is, I can let some of that go. Let's hope it improves a little bit. This is another good looking station as well. Ah, oh, wicked. Look at the grime on the glass. There's my little marker boards. That is very cool. Very, very cool. I really like the the stations in this are stunning. Absolutely stunning. Without doubt, some of the best I've seen. No word of a lie. Whoever is doing these station models is lovely. I also noticed they've got TFL branding. Hmm. Yeah, now really nice. Well done. Well done. Probably didn't need to pause it to have a look at these stations. I probably won't for the next couple. Oh, nice pub there as well, look. It looks like a pub, is it a pub? It is a pub. Right next to the station entrance. Like that. Fair play, Tom. Fair play. Fair play. Mr. Ford. Oh, I like some of the some of the graffiti. If I'm not mistaken, that is Mr. Ford there. Nice little touch. Get some serious drops. 19 FPS and I'm going down to about 11 at times. It's not even like tile alone neither. I've come in way too hot here. That's London Underground. It's probably not even that hot, is it? Still doesn't matter, no, I have to do that. I was playing with my eyes, that is. Hmm. I don't know whether I like that bush or not.
Nice bit of ambient audio. Stations are fantastic. Really impressed there. Top game. I won't moan about the grass. Woo, 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 woo. Fourth rail gaps are a bit odd. Now, I've, I've seen a few people complain about this, and for me, I was like, nah, I'm sure it'll be all right, but nah. What I find a bit weird, and I can't help but think this is, Just Trains have just obviously spent an inordinate amount of asset, uh, money on assets. Like, huge amount of money on assets. And these stations are oh, superb. But I can't help but think that maybe some of the... And the signals are beautiful as well. I can't help but think maybe some of the money might have been better invested in getting some new track. I know it's something they've been wanting to. And uh, some, uh, Mark put in my comments last time. They do want someone to come and do the track. But it does detract from what is a stunning looking route. I think I was overrun a bit there, but hey. The screens won't work, but the doors are open. This is a cool little bit. Boarded up boxes. Frames are taking a tanking. But it is very detailed. Go see glasses. And that's a cool bit, look. In where it's a bit muddy, where they play the football and that. The football. <laughs> where they play the football. Oh, shit. Hopefully YouTube won't pick up on that. This one doesn't, this route doesn't seem as picky about the stop markers. Which might 
Well, maybe they've changed it. I don't know. Does it say anything about that? I mean, congratulations on Tom on doing the route building. It's it's very nice. Okay, Rise of Man is is one of the stations I know actually pretty well because we've been here quite a few times. I'm not completely convinced by that, but it's still a good representation. So the um, S8 has had a bit of a revamp as well. It's had its polys lowered uh, to try and improve FPS. And I, it, it, my worry is that, well, I'm very glad they have because I think without that, it would have been pretty dire. I suppose it's that trade-off between looking good and playability. <coughs> and it's not unplayable. <laughs> That's cool. Why can I hear another train? Oh, is that just ambient audio? While I'm here, this, this, let's get the S7 stuff out of the day. Right, so S7 plus one. There was three of them, I think there's one left now. And that has been sold as a separate train by Just Trains. Um, I did check with them what the differences were. And the, the difference with it is, it has a different seating arrangement in the passenger view. Everything else is the same as, jeez, as the um, S8. So 
So I'm just reading the blurb again now, just change to change anything. So realistically, from what I can work out, is that this looks lovely here with the, the walkways and that. Uh, station's looking really nice. It is twenty one ninety nine. For a change in passenger view. Now I've tried to keep out of a lot of the, the wibble threads about this. Um, but I... I couldn't justify spending the money on it for a different passenger view. Now, usually, I, I mean, I'll buy TSW stuff. I'll do all of that. Um, the S7 Plus one. Why don't you just do an S7? It, it just it makes no sense to me whatsoever. I'm sure they've got their own uh, ideas in their head somewhere. Um My worry is that they then come up with an S7 and charge another twenty one ninety nine for it. Um, that's as far as I was told. There was no modelling differences, uh, but I have just think I've spotted some. No, there isn't. No. So yeah, I mean, if you bought it in the bundle, you could get it for like. The S7 Plus One for thirty nine ninety nine with the route, so you were only realistically paying nine ninety nine for the for the train. That's fine, um, but there's no uh, S7 S7 Plus One S8 bundle. Get a fire build. Now, what they did bundle with the route uh, was a AI drivable S seven plus one. So the route's twenty nine ninety nine, and I can see why. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I can see why. There is a lot of detail in this. The assets are lovely. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to go on about it. I think their price and structure needs to be looked at long and hard. Uh, I understand they're going to have to get some of their money back, and I, I can completely appreciate that. And the route being 30 quid, well, I, I couldn't really give a monkey's about that, if I'm honest. If people want underground stuff, underground stuff is rare in TS. Uh, it's very bespoke. It's, my hunch is it's not going to be a massive, massive seller because it's relatively niche. I mean, I suggest it's it's very nice. Um, I've got no issue with it. There's a lot of functionality in this route that's lovely. There's a lot of functionality within the S8 and stuff that's good. But twenty one ninety nine, considering the AP319 is... It's a bit much. It's a bit much. If AP had done that, there would have been absolute uproar. There isn't even a cab variant change. There's not even a sound change. We are talking literally a passenger view. Don't get me wrong. Very nice passenger views. But I think the S7 just has longitudinal seating, doesn't it?
Should have seen that coming, that 30. as well it's kind of odd there are some bits that have been that have had like really 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 close eye to detail one in this and then some bits they haven't which is fine I don't mind that it's just a bit inconsistent where they were I mean like, I would have to I flew quite far away uh, from the station earlier on and showed you there was like a there's even a bloke unloading boxes out of van and all that And then you get to sort of, like, here. About T and O for this side. Like, not many people will have been in the that car park where the man was unloading vans, but a lot of people would have been here getting off a bus and transferring onto the tube. So if it was me, and this is just purely personal for me, I'd have probably done this bit nice. And not worried so much about the car park. Again, the stations are stunning. And there's some great looking assets in here. The signals are very, very nice as well. It's a real key feature of London Underground, isn't it? They're superb. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can definitely tell there's going to be some bits that have had more time than others. and That's sort of part of route building. There's going to be bits that are going to be like that. Let's use this gradient to go down. Speed quite well in post. Yeah, it's still still a slight FPS issue with the S8. That's cool, a lot of the flowers. Preston Road's well looked after. Again, nicely done.
Wembley, isn't it? Let's open up some decent possibilities, doesn't it? I mean, it, I, I, I mean, like the battery loco and things like that, the VDL stock we've got. There's also been some uh, rumoured A stock production as well. Um, so it could be, but the underground is it's a it's a new opportunity for train sim, which I, I'm really liking, and I'm glad that Just Train's at the forefront of this. It was something we considered doing, but just I don't have enough interest in the underground, really, if I'm honest. And for me, the, the subsurface, the, the surface stuff is all. That's just like another route, isn't it? It's really what I'm really looking forward to seeing is the. Um, I was nearly stopping there. The underground bit. I wanted to start at that, but the scenario was it would have been dark by the time we got up there. So I thought I'd do do from this way into central London. So it literally can do all gate to Uxbridge, all gate Amersham, Chesham and Watford. So all the little bits that come off are there as well. So you've got all gate Liverpool Street, Moorgate, Barbican, Farringdon, King's Cross, Euston Square, Great Portland Street, Baker Street, Fitchley Road, Wembley Park, Preston Road, Northridge Park, Harrow and the Hill. And then you can go spur off and go North Harrow, Pinner, Northwood Hills, Northwood, Moor Park. And then you can spin off and go Croxley, Watford. Or you can stay on and go Rickmansworth, Chorley Wood. Chalfont, Latimer, Chesham and Amersham. Or from Harrow on the Hill you can stay on and go West Harrow, Rainers Lane, uh, East Coast, Ryslip Manor, Ryslip, Ickenham, is it? Hillingdon and Uxbridge. Oh, I'm teasing myself looking through the, the manual at all the stations when we get to the underground section. They're looking very nice. So you features to look out for on the route, Circle Line at Allgate, Hammersmith and City Line, which is one of my favourites uh, at Allgate. Liverpool Street signal box, Moorgate Blue Hoardings. Oh yeah, nice. The Barbican disused lines and Blue Hoardings. Oh, the new sidings at Farringdon. The new city line being built by. Oh. I love how the underground's separate. I love the way it was partly... Thames Link Farringdon looks brilliant. Um, how it was sort of Americanised, but not, and they used car and different signalling. and It's not driving trains, but on a completely different network, and I love it. I talk a lot about uh, 
people that I don't work in the railways talk about railway family and I talk a lot about how that's one of the reasons why I would would have liked to have worked on the railways. But the underground seems to have a bit of a stronger bond there. Uh, I know a few people that work at London Underground and yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. And there was plenty of programs. I mean, I grew up watching The Tube. Which you can still get on YouTube. Sorry, my throat's going a little bit again now. Nice, got a bit of a tunnel section coming up. So I, was, I can't, I keep looking at the manual to look at things to talk about, but it's just showing me off all the bits I haven't seen yet. Oh, so that Hillingdon station was opened in 1992. And it's a locally listed building. It's my type of architecture, that. Glass and steel. 80s and 90s. the tunnels here. Oh, nice touch on the track there. I like that. One thing I will say about while we're, while we're down here looking at signs and things the underground sections of the tube even if you stop for a second or you keep your head right out the window and look out the window they are grim but I can see that I just, whoa, 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 whoa. Set. It's up here somewhere, isn't it? There. And then I've got to go into restrictive manual, is that right? Mm, is that not the right one? That's it. Allowed. 
so yeah. Time to read the manual. I do apologize, guys. Right. Let's see, what am I being told? Tripcock manual. Tripcock. It's TM. But I've got that little thing up, haven't I? Square rock and log speed almost indicates the train is in a speed control after tripping. Scat mode. I'm a scat man. Skippy dee 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 Right, okay, so does that mean I have to put it into. Go back to the manual. And find a trip cock. Page twenty six. When you pass on signal out of danger, you hear an order of alarm. Come to halt, press the alarm and knowledge button, lower right console, and cancel the order of alarm. And press the red acknowledge button on the TMSC panel. Disengage the dead man's hand. Right, that's what it will be. Got there in the end. So I must proceed in restricted manual forward for a minimum of three minutes and see two stop signals showing a clear or caution aspect. If you pass two clear stop signals before three minutes up, you still cannot come out of restricted manual forward mode until and into trip code mode until three minutes have passed. Learn something new every day, didn't you? That's definitely green. Oh, they're cool. I can't see it now because I'm... Uh past it, but there was the little refuge points here. Alright, let me actually pause it before we get there. And then we can go and have a look at one. Yeah, that's cool. Let's hide in one as a train goes past.
Here we've got a spark there, nice. stop a carriage distance short and then put it back into Tripcock. Put away again. What's green over right amber mean on this? Green over yellow. Not amber. I don't know. Do the under that would be some one of the weird things the London Underground would say, wouldn't it? It's actually a really good book that comes with the virtual district line that tells you about loads of different operations on the uh, underground. I recommend that for a good read. Did it again. What I say about that bad driving? Didn't even see the signal. Oh, these might be these call on signal things. Is that where I'm getting trip cops? Yes, it is. I need to approach them at no less than... No more than five. This bit's nice. It's weird trying to get a sense of scale with it, isn't it? Because I always think that... Just G, go away! I was already in restricted manual.
crap, now I've overrun. Been driving for too long now, you see. Right, let me read about these little signals. Medline, Medline, Medline. So approach control signals performed by the diversion route ahead with a reduced speed compared to the main route ahead. Diverging route may be set up for passenger trains, but signal will not clear to proceed aspect until the speed is reduced, allowing a safe transition over the diverging route. Trains not sufficiently reduced speed and time, the train will remain at danger and stop. Draw up signals, that's what they're called. Um, draw up signals are designed to bring the train to a stand before entering an area with a potential fouling point, i.e. a set of points set against you. Draw up signals are always approach controlled. Right, so that's what that yellow was. And then you've got repeaters and fog repeaters. Okay. We've still been restricted manual for a bit. Which probably isn't a bad thing considering I've spatted like three times. start doing a Japanese way pointing to them we can come out of this now. Will it let me just do it that way? Yes. Yeah, the sort of undergrounding section isn't grabbing me as much as I thought it would, if I'm honest. Well, let it get a bit better. And it's not just the spadding, don't worry, I'm quite, quite used to that. It would probably be better when I get used to the signals and everything.
this is nice. They're nice. They, again, there is one thing I cannot fault in this route is the stations. They are very, very, very well done. Why am I moving? Is that train sim bug moving, is it? It's a bit fast. It's not usually that quick. So for those of you who don't know, trains can never be still in train sim. I've spoken about it a long time before. It's to do with the, the physics of the game. So they always will move at a small speed. But it just felt a bit faster. It's not. It looks exactly right. Oh, crap. Doors. length of route as well. There's no, no issues with the length of the route, is there? King's Cross and Pancakes! It's probably the tube station I've visited the most. Jeez, couldn't even see where the stop marker was on this. Should have been that side of the wall, I should have been looking what. Look like a beauty. Don't mess with the diesels. Why well, can't the loco pilot be electrocuted? Because he's not a conductor. <laughs>
Oh, this looks cool. Yeah, this bit's nice. <laughs> I should have been looking. I should have been looking. Scenery was just too good for me. That'll do. Done a really nice job in here. Ah, you ready? I didn't check the signal before I left the platform. I'm getting the, um, the practice in with the old um, trip clock reset procedure, though. If you had me as a driver on this, you'd be going mad, wouldn't you? <coughs> I'd have been pulled off hours ago. Quite looking forward to doing this whole, like, actual paying attention, like, properly, not just looking at the scenery stuff and having a good drive of it, though. I shall do that tonight on stream.
Sorry, guys. No, doors closed. No delivery man, you can't come right now because I'm in the middle of a video. Oh, I should be able to come out restricted now at least. Actually, yeah, we can do this on the fly now, can't we? I worked it out. Awesome! I quite like the challenge of driving this, and there's a sound mod over on ATS.com, well, AlanThompsonSim.com, um, that's really, really nice that I will put back in. Good old Morgate. And there's the Morgate Holdings. Oh, I love the pictures they've put up there. Nice touches, really nice touches. I really do like the roof, the texture of that roof. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, what, what are we on now? We're on our second to last stop so I'll start summarising I think the stations are fantastic like I would go as far as to say as they are some of the best in the game without a doubt um, they are really really up there fantastic bits of kit the track is a big big letdown um, it really does let down a, a, a very nice route. It, it's, from what I can see from a playability point of view, there are some FPS hits, but for a route this detailed, you can't really moan, can you? Um, it's worthwhile. There's some definite inconsistencies, but again, nothing that jumps out as glaringly obvious to me. The price, the price is going to be a big killer for a lot of people. Thirty pound for a route with no stock with it is is a is a it's a big ask. It is a big ask, uh, but people are starting to realise how much things cost to develop for train sim, and it's only getting more expensive. It's not getting cheaper the older the game gets, so it's it's understandable. Uh, so while I could say that was yellow, that signal, so I think pulling off of here, I've got to be very careful. While I would say, I could say, oh, it's too expensive. I can't really. Do I think they would have been better putting the S7 Plus one, which let's be honest, is a passenger view as part of the train for that, for part of the pack for that price? Or even maybe if they said, Thirty-one ninety-nine, thirty-two ninety-nine. It costs to make passenger views. I appreciate that, but it doesn't cost twenty-one ninety-nine unless you're expecting to sell not many of them, like a hundred or like fifty. So I'm not quite sure about that decision. That's a weird decision to have made. But for the rest of it. Yeah, if you like London Underground and you like this sort of driving, this is very, very good. Very, very good. It, it's, I would like to say it's sort of up there with sort of U-Bahn and things like that. Frankfurt U-Bahn, the second one, 
it came with so much you could do so much extra with it i think is um a big big thing i mean announcements are a really big thing on london underground ubon had the ibis system so there's a couple of bits and pieces i think they could have done that might have made it a bit better but again that just would have increased the cost so if it's already cost this much as is then i'm glad it's only 30 pounds and i'm glad they didn't put those bits in because then it would have been more uh but okay yeah i've got a red signal and i'm actually probably going to stop for it so this is one of the ones that said you had to come to a complete stand before it changed wasn't it no What are these ones? Get a bit closer, maybe. Don't know where the trigger point is from. I'm hoping it's not any closer than that because that bit of the cab would be blocking it. This has got a blue bit around it. Is that on in the manual? No. Okay, I don't know what the blue means. But it does look like I've got the road. Is it going to go boop, boop, boop? next one no, I've got the road look well that was a pure guess So yeah, do you go out and get this? Uh, if you like London Underground, yes, of course, go and get it. It's very, very good. It's very, very nice. The stations are spot on. As I said, wish they'd done a few little bits and pieces they could have done with better track, and I wish they'd invested some of the money they used for, for things like station assets and things like that for track. Um, that's just one of my things. It's got the grass, which I'm not a massive fan of, and there's a couple bits that look a bit wide, and some bits look like they've not had as much detail put into as others but it's just is what it is and from my opinion well done tom well done just trains you've done a, a really decent job just sort out the pricing on that s7 is the only thing i'd say with that Alright guys, thank you ever so much for standing by me with that one. That was a long old video as well, an hour and 21 minutes, one of my longest for a long while. Do take care of yourselves. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Head over to alanthompsonsim.com for all your up-to-date train sim needs. Also head over to Just Trains to buy this itself, or you can also... No, you can't just yet. Uh, <laughs> head on over to uh, Twitch on a Sunday and Wednesday from 7pm UK time catch up with some adult conversation talking about trains in a pub style atmosphere for all your other inquiries head over to the facebook group or the website once again guys thanks ever so much catch you next time